All right, we begin with some editing commands. So let's begin by uh, deleting characters. So to delete one character, what you need to do is to place a cursor to the character you want to delete and then press X, the X key in normal mode. All right, I'm gonna press U to undo, GG to go to the beginning. And if you want to delete more than one character, you can press the number of characters you want to delete and press X. Let's say five characters. I want to delete five characters, so I press five and then X. And as you can see, Vim deleted five characters. All right. Now, if you want to delete a word, for example, random here. What you need to do is to type DW and the word is deleted. All right. Now I move on to a bigger line. Let's say line 42. All right. So we can apply increments as well. Increments are the time you want, or the times, sorry, you want to execute a command. All right. So if you want to execute um, just one command five, three, or ten times, what you need to do is to type the number of times and then the command. Now, for example, let's say that I want to delete three words or three times a word. Okay. What you need to do is to type number three and then the key DW. And as you can see, I deleted three times one word. All right. I'm going to press U to undo. And uh, there, there is um, a second type of increment that you need to know. And, and this kind of increment is when you put the number after, well, in the middle of the, of the command. For example, in the previous example, I typed three. I mean, I typed the number first and then I press T and then W. All right, and it worked. Now, we can achieve the same result if I press D first and then the number three, which is the number of time times I want to execute this command. And then the, in the, the key W. And as you can see, is the same now but there's a difference you have to know the difference because you can mix you can mix these two uh, increments so when you press the number first you are saying Vim understand this that you want to delete three times one word okay or you want to delete yeah, three times one word. But if you put the number in the middle, I mean after the D in this case, um, you are saying you want to delete once, but three words. Okay? So keep that in mind because you can mix this. For example, I want let's say that you want to delete three times three words. So in this case the combination is three D three W and as you can see the result is different because I'm saying if we understand this like you want to delete three times three words okay so I'm gonna press U to undo so remember that all right I'm going to this line because it's a little bit longer let's say that you want to delete five times so 5D and two words two w and here you have it okay that's how vim understands increments when you put the number first or in the middle all right now as you can see um if you press uh, by normal means sorry you delete from left to right okay if you want to delete backwards, let's say 
that I want to delete um, two dice game and we're, we're right here um, you can go to insert mode and press the backspace okay that's the way we are usually costume to and that is also used in text processors and also in other text editors to use the backspace to delete backwards but in Vim you have another way to delete you can use either the backspace but make sure to be in insert mode to do that or you can go to normal mode and press db all right and you delete the entire word of course I have to go to the column and press db to delete it completely completely all right I'm gonna press u to undo and now let's say that I have the cursor in the middle of the word so if you want to delete the entire word what you need to do is to type diw which means delete inside a word okay so that's how you delete the entire word so that's it for this video this video just is was just about deleting characters and in the next video we are going to work more about changing characters and editing characters okay so i see